Okay, so this is part two in my series for beginning tenor drumming flourishing. The first video we talked about how to string the sticks, how to put them on your fingers. If you need a review on that, please go back and watch the first video. Now we're going to do just some basic flourishes to get you started moving the, moving the mallets. Okay? Lots of requests for this, so I wanted to definitely help everybody out. So once you have everything set, what you have to understand is a lot of the movement comes from right here. So the first movement I'm going to show you is going to be a vertical spin, which means it's going to be going up and down as opposed to horizontal. Up and down, vertical spin. Um, it's also on the outside, so it's an outside vertical spin. Up and down on the outside as opposed to on the inside. Outside, okay? So what we're going to do is essentially toss it up and so you continue to spin. You're going to help it by using your index finger as it moves around. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. As it, every time it goes around, I whip it a little bit with my index finger. A lot of the control comes from there. You want it going up and down as much as possible. It might come in a little bit at a time. That's okay. Don't worry about it too much. But you want to make sure it's going up and down on both hands. So we're doing vertical outside spins. You can do both hands. Do just your left hand, just your right hand. And I just want you to practice that a whole bunch of times. Don't worry about how it looks, just get it moving. So use the momentum. Actually, throw it up. Throw it up. You'll remember that. Throw it up and get it going. Use momentum. If you try to go too slow, it's very difficult because you're fighting gravity. You throw it up in the air and it's going to fall. Even though you mean for it to go slower. It doesn't work like that. You just have to go and you want to go for as much velocity as you can. So you toss it up and continue it with your index finger. All the, all the movements coming from there. A lot of control is doing that. Okay, let me do it from the side. You can see here also. Together. So that's a lot of things I can show you, I've explained to you ad nauseum. But once you're holding them properly and you do what I'm telling you to, you just have to experiment and make it work for you. I can't tell you how much pressure to put on your finger and how often to do this. You just have to try it a whole bunch of times and you'll you will get it. But do what I'm telling you. Get the strings on your fingers properly, throw it up. Use its own momentum, continue it with your index finger and of course your wrist and make it go up and down like that. Okay? Now the second thing I'm going to show you, and this is probably the most important thing you can do in all of tenor drum flourishing visuals. This is the most important thing you can do that you have to do. That is catch it. You saw him doing these flourishes and I stopped, right? That's not always easy to do. So what you need to do is learn how to stop it, how to catch it. That will help you stop and start. That will help you transition from one flourish to the next, transition from, from flourishing to playing rhythms and everything like that. So what you do is you start doing your same visual. Now as it's going around, you'll notice that the strings are in my fingers. The mouth is attached to my hand. So what you don't want to do is go grab it. I can't tell you how many times I see that people are flourishing and they want to grab the mouth so they do that and go to grab it. It's already attached. If my hand's here or here or here or wherever it is, it's still attached. I don't have to go get it. So the trick is, and the strings are kind of tight, so you separate your fingers like this. Right? Separate your fingers. Look what happens to the mallet when I do that. The mallet gets pulled directly into my hand. Okay? So then I can grab it. It's as simple as that. So some people say just stretch your pinky out. Some people say extend your fingers. Either way, as you're flourishing, while that's happening, time to catch it. Open your fingers. It comes right into your hand. Now something to realize as it's going around, you can't stop it immediately. Once you open your fingers, it will do one more revolution around until you catch it. So you keep going. Open your fingers and you catch it. Same thing here. I'm going to open my fingers, it's going to come into my hand. Okay? 
and you catch it, that's what the ball's for. You can catch it right there. Just like we talked about in the last video about where to hold it to play. You flourish, catch it, and you're right here. Flourish, catch it, you're right here to play. And you have control of it to do whatever you want to do next. Okay, so utilizing those skills, which you've just now practiced separately a lot, you went off, you turn this video off, you practice by itself, by itself, together. Look at yourself in the mirror, see what you look like, it's kind of cool. Then you really focus on stopping it. I want to stop right now. I want to stop right now. Focus on those things. Now I'm going to give you two more combinations to go practice. The first one we're going to call doubles. And the reason why we call it doubles is because it lasts for two beats. It's a way to practice and meter your, your um, visuals. So if, you're, if they give you a beat, so every two beats you're going to switch hands. So I'm going to flourish my right hand for two beats while I'm pretending to hit a drum for this hand, or you can hit your leg, that's fine. One, two, you catch and switch, and now you throw it up and go one, two, catch, switch, one, two, one, two. You can do those over and over again, doubles. One, two, and one, two, catch and switch. One, two, catch and switch. One, two. Play with that. The last thing I'm going to show you are called singles. Sounds like singles should be easier than doubles, right? No, because singles you have to catch and switch every beat instead of every other beat. So you actually have to do it more often and faster. So here we go. This is the beat. Singles. Ready. Go. And one. Switch. Two. Switch. Three. Switch. Four. Switch. One. Switch. Two. Three. Four. Okay? Those are singles. And then you can put them in combinations. So you have, start off with doubles. One. Then go to singles. Back to doubles. Any combination you want to of that. Okay, there's a bit for you to practice. Give it a shot. Let me know how you're doing. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.